Hello chess lovers, Zoran here and in today's video I want to share with you another interesting attacking game played by legendary American chess player Robert James Fischer. Fischer's opponent is German chess international master Klaus Darga. The game was played in 1960 during USA vs FRG match. Klaus Darga would only earn grandmaster title four years later in 1964. So, Fischer is on the white side and he opened up with e4 to which Darga answered with e6. French defense is on the board. First we will go through the game and then I will turn on Stockfish and we will stop on key moments. Win over variation is on the board. Advanced win over c5 a3 and we see an exchange on c3. Knight e7 a4. Well, in here there are two ways of exploiting the absence of black's dark squared bishop. White can either choose the continuation starting with a queen g4 or a4, which was chosen in the game, followed by bishop a3. Uh, the bishop usually feels very well on a3 f8 diagonal and can become very problematic for black. Knight f3 b6 and bishop b5 check. White is aiming not to allow bishop b7, but instead to lure the bishop on a more awkwardly placed square, black's answer was bishop d7. Bishop goes back on d3, knight c6, white castled kingside and c4. Uh, in here theory recommends h6, this is the main move in order to prepare castling kingside. By the way, if you go for castling straight away, then you can step into Greek gift sacrifice, that's why you should first play h6 and then castle king's side. This is how the theoretical line goes, but black had different ideas and decided to lock up the position with c4 and then go for castling queen's side. Meanwhile, we see, the, we see this standard f6 move with which black is undermining white center. f takes e5, d takes e5, knight takes e5. So Fisher is temporarily making a pawn sacrifice but this allows him to find time for putting his rook on the e-file and get a nice chance of winning back the pawn. Knight 7 c6. This is already a mistake, but we will come back to this later. Uh, in here an exchange of knights on e5 followed and f4. Knight c6, bishop g4. Now Fischer will win back the sacrificed pawn. There we have it, an exchange on e6 followed. Rook d7, f5. Knight goes back on d8, rook e3. Queen f4, rook f3, queen e4. White has a slight advantage, but still black is holding. And there followed a5. White wants to break into pieces black's defense. Knight c6, after which black's position collapses. At the moment, let me tell you that it was better to play b5. a takes b6, a takes b6, queen b1, hitting on b6, king c7. And so, at this point, if we take a look at the position, it may seem that white's attack on the queen side reached a standstill. But Fischer found a spectacular continuation in order to intensify the pressure. Please pause the video and try to find Fischer's next moves. Ready? Well, very often in my videos when reaching a critical position, you need to find a dashing sacrifice, but this time we have a very quiet bishop c1 move. White bishop is not retreating, but instead is advancing backward. The idea of this bishop c1 move is to put it on f4 from where it will harass black king. Queen e1 check was black's answer, rook f1, queen takes c3, and check from f4 followed, king b7, and after queen b5 check resignation followed. Right now we have a direct mating threat and you can only neutralize it at the cost of huge material losses. For example, if knight b8 then just bishop takes b8 right and what else black can play? Rook a8, then just rook takes a8 and then queen takes c6. 
So now I have already turned on Stockfish and we can go through the game while the beast is on. Bishop d7 was Black's answer, but at the moment let me tell you that, for example, if you try to keep alive your idea of putting the bishop on b7, then in this case, as the knight is pinned, white has a very nice a5 move, and in this case, white is actually managing to create a serious problems for black on the queen side. That's why in the game we see bishop d7, so, and then white bishop retreated back, c4, as mentioned, h6 is the main move, bishop e2, f6. So at this point, more or less, we have an equality. Uh, with bishop a3, Fischer went for a pawn sacrifice. What is the engine thinking about that move? It's an absolutely precise move and that's a top move. So bishop a3 was made and black won the pawn on e5. According to Stockfish, better was uh, knight f5. Yeah, uh, after f takes e5, suddenly we see that white is managing to create serious problems in the center. Uh, rook e1 and knight 7 c6. Instead, it was better to play knight 5 c6. If knight g5, then black can castle king's side. And if here, then rook f6 and black is managing to set up a very solid defense. Queen e1, right? And now black can either go for an exchange or just play queen f6. Interesting. Uh, instead, in the game, we see knight 7 c6. An exchange on e5 followed, f4. And yeah, at this point, instead of f4, according to Stockfish, bishop h5 is allowing white to win. In case of g6, queen d4, right? Yeah, a nice line. I really like this. What if, for example, knight f7, then this time again queen d4 and black is in trouble. And you can't even castle, you know. I, I, I wanted to say what if castling, but then notice the bishop on a3. Yeah, Fischer missed that bishop h5 check. Interesting. Instead we see f4, which is allowing black to prolong the resistance. Castling queen side and white won back the sacrificed pawn. Uh, better was playing rook h e8. If here, then knight e5. And what if here, then only then bishop takes e6, right? Yeah, these lines look very interesting. Uh, instead, we see bishop takes e6. We are moving forward and f5. Knight d8, rook e3. Queen f4, rook f3. a5. And now. At this point, black should play b5 in order to keep the queen side locked, but we see knight c6, and this is the last mistake which Darga made. Although, according to Stockfish, better was a5 or a6. Instead, we see a takes b6, and now black's position goes down quickly. Bishop c1 is Fisher's move, an absolutely staggering move with which he is switching the bishop into the attack and victory becomes matter of moves. No way out, black's position is destroyed. So this is it dear chess lovers, hope that you enjoyed this game and in the end let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to win with the black pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.